Picture waking up one morning and finding out that the world isn't flat like a pancake or round like a spinning ball, but something totally unexpected. That's what the James Webb Space Telescope has done for our understanding of space. Get ready to toss aside all your old ideas about the stars and planets as we explore the incredible discoveries that are making scientists scratch their heads. The universe is about to blow your mind in ways you never thought possible. Are you excited to join the adventure? In the long annals of human history, there have been a handful of monumental discoveries that have literally redefined our understanding of the universe. Cernus moved the Earth from the center of the cosmos. Einstein replaced Newton's universal law of gravitation with his theory of general relativity. And now, cue the dramatic drum roll, the James Webb Space Telescope is shaping up to be another Cernic moment, another Einsteinian revelation. Before we jump into the jaw-dropping findings, let's take a moment to appreciate this marvel of engineering and technology, the James Webb Space Telescope. As it's affectionately called, it didn't just happen overnight. It's the result of years of intense research, mind-bending mathematics, and an international collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. The telescope is an intricate ballet of mirrors and sensors that function together in the cold emptiness of space to bring us the most detailed images of the universe that human eyes have ever seen. The universe before the universe, rewriting cosmic history and the inflationary epic. So what's the first bombshell that this astronomical dynamo has dropped? Strap in because the concept of a universe born from the Big Bang has just gained a head-spinning prologue. The JWST has unearthed groundbreaking evidence supporting the inflationary model, a theory positing that before the Big Bang we've all been taught, the universe experienced an almost unimaginable burst of expansion. Imagine this, the universe doubled in size not just once, but at least 80 times over, all within a time frame so minuscule it makes a blink seem eternal. This process, often referred to as cosmic inflation, suggests that the universe inflated faster than the speed of light. As for the mechanism behind this massive expansion, scientists are considering fields of exotic energy and even quantum fluctuations as potential catalysts. So, does the Big Bang now become a mere footnote in an even more intricate cosmic narrative? And let's take that idea further. Could this scenario make room for the mind-boggling concept of multiverses, each birthed from its own unique inflationary event? What could be the role of dark energy, or even quantum mechanics in all this? The door to answering, or at least pondering, these colossal questions has been flung wide open. In a move that adds even more layers of complexity to our cosmic understanding, the telescope has made another staggering discovery six gigantic galaxies aptly christened as Universe Breakers. The name isn't hyperbolic, it's a dramatic but accurate descriptor. These celestial behemoths are shattering long-standing assumptions about the timeline and mechanisms of galactic formation. They're so far away that the light we're seeing from them originated just a few hundred million years after the purported Big Bang, a time when, according to established models, galaxies should be embryonic, not colossal. Traditionally, our scientific narratives have painted a slow, gradualistic picture of galaxy formation, one in which tiny clumps of matter slowly gravitate toward each other over billions of years to finally form the massive structures we see today. The existence of these universe breakers throws a wrench in that narrative. Could it be that our classical models of galaxy formation are overly simplistic? What if these behemoth galaxies were products of conditions we've not yet factored into our equations, such as varying densities of dark matter or even interactions with other unknown forms of energy and matter? Could their size and complexity suggest a previously unimaginable sophistication in the orchestration of cosmic elements, an intricate choreography of astrophysical phenomena that we're only now beginning to glimpse? seeing ancient galaxies in their youth and reconsidering galactic maturity. Timelines, as if universe breakers and pre-Big Bang expansions weren't paradigm shifting enough, let's dive into another inducing facet of the telescope's discoveries, one that's akin to having a time machine at the end of our telescopic lens. When we gaze at these far-off galaxies through the James Webb Space Telescope, 
We're essentially peering billions of years into the past. We're looking at a younger universe, a mere toddler in cosmic time, when things should have been only 2% as old as they are now. But here comes the zinger. These aren't baby galaxies we're seeing. They're mature, developed, and as intricate as our very own Milky Way. This flies in the face of previous cosmological theories, suggesting that early galaxies should be nent chaotic and unstructured. So what's going on here? Are there mechanisms at play that accelerated the rate of galactic development during the universe's early years? One intriguing possibility is that there could be forms of cosmic fertilizer as yet unidentified that sped up the evolution of these young galaxies. Another theory to consider revolves around the distribution and dynamics of dark matter in the early universe, which may have played a critical role in shaping galaxies at a quicker rate than previously thought. And here's another tantalizing question. If these galaxies matured so quickly, what does that imply about the life cycles of their stars, and indeed the development of planetary systems within those galaxies? Could this accelerated growth also lead to the faster development of conditions conducive to life? It's as though we've stumbled upon a cosmic twist in the plot of universal history, one that might just redefine the story of our own galaxy's evolution. As well, just to underscore how staggering this particular discovery is, let's revisit the time-traveling aspect of looking at these far-off celestial entities. The James Webb Space Telescope gives us the unparalleled ability to be cosmic archaeologists, unearthing clues about the early universe by gazing into what is essentially a window to the past. What we're seeing through this temporal lens are not just any galaxies, but ones that appear as developed and complex as the Milky Way, despite existing at a time when the universe was a mere 2% of its current age. To say that this finding upends our previous understanding would be an understatement of cosmic proportions. So how did these galaxies grow up so fast? What cosmic recipe allowed for such an expedited coming of age? One possibility is the role of seed black holes, which are black holes formed early in the universe's history. These could act as gravitational anchors, drawing in matter more efficiently and thus speeding up the galaxy building process. Alternatively, we might look at the role of what's known as the cosmic web, the intricate network of filaments made of both regular and dark matter that crisscross the universe. Could these structures serve as fast lanes for material to come together in the early cosmos? And let's not forget about the elements that make up these galaxies. Were there particular abundances of heavier elements that acted as a kind of catalyst for quicker development? Or perhaps these mature galaxies are where we might find the first occurrences of something fundamentally different a new form of matter or energy that we haven't yet encountered, which could be the key to their accelerated maturation. Which brings us to another fascinating implication. What does this all mean for our Milky Way? If galaxies could mature so rapidly in the early universe, might that offer new insights into the Milky Way's own developmental history? Could we have celestial siblings out there, galaxies that matured quickly and might share similar characteristics to our own? The findings from the JWST are not just rewriting the celestial rulebook, they are inviting us to question the very framework of our cosmic lineage. Just when you thought we were done upending your understanding of the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope has another trick up its sleeve. This time, we're diving into the mesmerizing realm of star formation with a focus on NGC 346, a prolific star-forming region. This section of space is not just intriguing, it's paradoxical. Laden with dust clouds that are far from sparse, NGC 346 confronts us with an astronomical enigma. You see, the conventional wisdom holds that dust clouds act like cosmic naysayers to star formation, effectively becoming speed bumps or even roadblocks on the celestial highway of stellar creation. But NGC 346 throws this notion into a cosmic tailspin. Here, Dust clouds aren't stifling the birth of stars, they're facilitating it. So what sort of cosmic alchemy are we witnessing here? One potential explanation may lie in the intricate physics of dust clouds themselves. Perhaps these dust particles are not merely passive actors, but actively engage in chemical processes that encourage the condensation of gas into protostars. 
Or maybe the dust clouds are particularly rich in specific elements or compounds that act as catalysts for star formation. We also can't rule out the interplay of magnetic fields, which could guide particles and gases in unique configurations conducive to birthing stars. Speaking of stars, what kind are we talking about? Are these the typical sun-like stars we're familiar with, or are we witnessing the formation of exotic, heretofore unknown types of stars that behave differently and have different life cycles? Could these be the nurseries for the most massive stars in the universe, or perhaps on the other end of the spectrum, for tiny faint stars that defy our current categorizations? The findings from NGC 346 force us to reevaluate not just our theories of star formation, but also the roles that dust and other seemingly inert components of space play in the mechanics of the cosmos. Are we on the brink of a revolutionary new understanding of how stars, and by extension galaxies and even life itself, come into existence? This isn't merely a tweak to an existing theory. It's the promise of a seismic shift in our conceptualization of stellar genesis. The Webb Telescope pulls the cosmic rug from under us yet again. This time, it's telling us to toss our old calculators and get ready for some staggering arithmetic. We're not talking a minor correction or a slight adjustment here. We're talking about a complete upheaval in our understanding of the stellar census. According to the data, the known mass of stars in the universe at this very cosmic instant could be a staggering 100 times greater than what we had previously estimated. Yes, you heard it right, 100 times. Now let's pause and put this in perspective. We've all heard the poetic notion that there are more stars in the sky than grains of sand on Earth. But what if the actual number of stars is closer to being greater than all the grains of sand on all the beaches and all the deserts in the world combined, and then some? What does that mean for our understanding of the universe? More importantly, what does it mean for our understanding of star formation itself? If these numbers prove accurate, the implication is staggering. Early star formation mechanisms must have been operating at levels of efficiency that border on the unbelievable. It's like finding out that your humble car engine can not only run a local commute, but is also capable of interstellar travel. So what's behind this turbocharged star creation engine? Could dark matter be playing a more pivotal role than we thought, acting as a hidden hand that catalyzes the formation of stars? Or are there entirely new phenomena still unidentified that serve as the cosmic tinder sparking this proliferation of stellar entities? So, as we stand on the precipice of discovery, let us embrace the journey ahead with open minds and boundless curiosity. For in the pursuit of knowledge lies the essence of our humanity, driving us to explore, to question, and to marvel at the wonders of the universe.